So, Holly, if you want to start your test fire, that'd be good. So, if you want to walk on, take your tool and just start right, right there where this water stops, yeah. and you're just gonna work up that line. The wind's gonna be blowing more or less that way. So, watching your line, if you have just stopped lighting, you should be able to look back your line without standing in the smoke. How far am I gonna go? Go till you see that road that cuts off to the left. So. Uh, but I expect we will be back over here before you get that far because you're going to have to be, you know, tamping out fire. And make sh Basically, you need, you need probably 10 feet of black before you walk away from. All right, sounds good. Well, Holly's going to start lighting, so you should see smoke here in the next 10 minutes. Yep, that'd be fine. Light as close to the uh, edge that you can. And Robert, if you want to take uh, this torch and uh, take her line, once she starts working that way, you can walk along that berm and light that edge while we're all standing here. Okay. How far you want me to go around? Just uh. Right here to this stump, okay. right past the stump. But let her let her get onto her next little patch of water. Holly, you you need to light as close to the trail there where it looks like it'll burn as you can. Yeah, you want it to burn in. Yeah, that looks a little better. It should be a fun day. Mud everywhere, can't get ATVs in here. You're getting in here. Uh, grass all the way across the lines in places. Web's not no lack of no lack of water to put fire out. If you can get it close to a pump. Oh yeah, if you can get to it. We do have that back we do have that little mini pump we could bring back here. Get the Indian pump out here. <laughs> and then bring it. Come on. If you want to go ahead and yeah. Like this right here, Robert. Yeah, I'm coming up to talk to you. That's looking good. So, what you need to do, Holly, is as you work up, you need to watch those little areas right there. They'll probably go out when it hits that tread, but, you know, what I would do is I'd light, you know, from here to like this branch, because you know it's not going to get out here yeah. in this water. So you can go ahead and light that to your next problem spot, and then you can walk back with your tool. You know, once this fire moves eight feet in or so, you can put these areas out. If you've got some areas that are worse than this right here, Holly, I would go ahead and work them with your tool before you light it. Worse than that? Yeah, if it's worse than that where there's no obvious place it's probably going to stop, I'd go ahead and scrape a little grass yeah, back with your tool. Huh? You think that's I think it probably will, but you can hold what you got right there, Dad. You don't need to come up here any farther. Yeah, you think stop? I think it will, but you need to keep an eye on it. I mean, you're gonna have a clear path. With it? Yeah, just you, this whole line is your baby. So now that Dad and he and Chris are up here, they can help with some tools and help keep an eye on everything. So right now we're lighting off the corner of this tract as a test fire to see what our smoke is doing right now. The smoke's going in the anticipated direction, exactly where we want it to be going and away from our smoke sensitive areas. So today this burn is gonna be a go and we're gonna continue our burn from here. Right now we have our fire break set up. There's a lot of water here, so we know that the fire is likely not going to cross this area. Um, we're going to watch you know, it carefully. Spot anywhere and I'd stay close to it though. Somebody needs to stay with it. I'll work on getting these flames down a little bit just to make sure it doesn't cross the fire line. We have some power poles here also that we need to keep an eye on, make sure the flames don't get too close to the power line. Right now 
now the leaf blower is doing a pretty good job of keeping everything at bay. Hey, Rob. Hey, Rob. <laughs> didn't take long. Yeah, just as I was saying, the water's going to keep it contained. It kind of crossed right over. Robert, if you want to keep lighting, I'll get on the leaf blower. And, uh, Do you want me to hang with him? And if that happens again, I can just have the shovel ready. Well, you can hang with me. And that way, if it happens again, you can pull my star cord. Go ahead and turn it off. <laughs> You should be good to get it, or have it on the uh, on position. Yeah, it's on. Right. But yeah, we're basically gonna, there's three people on that line. We'll do this line until we get to that point, and after we got 10 feet of black, then we'll move down that line. So, nothing like starting the day off with a spot fire. Not really a spot fire, though, it just crossed the line. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to, with this heavy grass, with this right of way out here, we need it to be completely burned so there's no fuel. And because of today and how damp the soil is, if I have 10 feet of black, then if it hasn't gotten out at that point, then it's probably not gonna get out for a good while. You know, it, it's not gonna get out with some type of major fire behavior event. Like if we go to the other side and light a head fire and it starts throwing embers a hundred feet in front of itself. But as far as backing, as long as it's pushing into that wind, if it hasn't gotten out by the time it's, we got 10 feet of black, it's probably not gonna throw an ember out at that point. As long as we don't light fire ahead of it. So that's kind of the goal we're getting to right now. If we can get this Northern uh, exposure and then this eastern exposure if we can get 10 feet of black then we can kind of do whatever we want on the rest of the track to, to a point because by the time we get that all the way around then it this won't be 10 feet anymore this will be like 50 feet robert try to yeah try to light right where you're standing right there Maybe a hundred feet at a time and then stop. The fire doesn't cross the fire line. I'm trying to get ahead of it before it crosses. We do some free treatment on this. Right now, Brandon's trying to get the water. Hit it. If you can get like put it in water and throw it on it, you can do that too. 